joining me is our Deputy Police Chief Rick, Rick Morris, uh, Reverend Gerald Kisner from Tabernacle Baptist Church, Pastor Toby Philport from uh, New Bethel uh, Baptist Church, and uh, Pastor David Chandler uh, from our recap team, and Kevin Jones, who's a part of our community outreach and also an assistant pastor at uh, Tabernacle Baptist Church. Uh, this event uh, shows a group of people coming together, making a positive change in a very high crime neighborhood. Since 2015, we've had 140 unsolved homicides in this neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods around it, and we're looking to make a positive change. We would like to clear these homicides. We would like to bring justice to the streets of West Palm Beach and to the families of these victims that we're here to talk about. So we have joined in partnership with our religious leaders. Some of them are standing behind me and we'll give them an opportunity to speak as well, but there are many other people in this community that have joined these efforts to say enough is enough and what do we need to do as our next step. And then from a religious perspective, you know the police department has done some good investigations. If you look at the cases, we've interviewed the people, we've collected the evidence, but there's a missing piece, and that is the one that comes from the community that says, enough is enough. In building a strong community, we need partnerships. It's the police department, and it's the people that are behind me, it's the residents that live there, and more importantly, it's all of us coming together and says, it's time for a positive change. So I'm gonna turn it over to, who wants to speak next? I'll go with Chief. Okay. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone, and to afternoon. Chief Adderley and the entire West Palm Beach Police Department, our mayor. Uh, we are honored to be part of this partnership at the New Bethel Church, and um, we're somewhat convicted. Uh, we realize that the church should have been doing more. The chief has been uh, putting forth the cry, and we are here to make this happen. We were ready to go. Uh, but some unforeseen weather came a few days ago, so we've girded back up and we are ready to be present, and not only, not only uh, for the event, but we are encouraging and teaching our parishioners uh, how to be eyes for the community. Thank you, Chief, uh, for this opportunity, sir. Yes, sir. Again, I want to just uh, echo Reverend Phil Potts' words. We have, uh, we're fortunate to have a chief here who realizes that prayer is an important part of the arsenal to try to bring uh, healing to our community. And so we are just really happy that we can be a part of this effort, that we have a chief that wants to have the religious community as a part of it. And we know that with God on our side and the hard work of the police and the mayor and the chief that we will be successful. So we thank you for this opportunity. Yes. I want to thank these Chief Adley for spearheading this, and I want to thank um, all the clergy who are here to help push this um, initiative across. Um, it is important and special that um, we as clergy and are here, but I cannot stress enough how important it is for our community residents to be a part of this as well. So although you see religious leaders, but we also need community leaders. Yeah. No matter who you are, what you've done, and uh, where you work currently, but we need your attendance because it's gonna take the entire community to turn this thing around. And I'm here to say today that on behalf of myself and um, the RECAP community, we are here 100% to support the Chief and this initiative, and we look forward to seeing you all. Amen. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. As everyone else has already echoed, I just really appreciate Chief Adderley's uh, vision and his challenge to the faith, faith community. As you heard Pastor Chandler just mentioned, it's not only for preachers to come out. We want members, we want residents from all across the city. It is our city, and all of us should collectively be concerned about communities where we are having these challenges. If we all bring our resources, our, our prayers, our bodies, it allows those in the community to know uh, that, that we are with them 
and, and that we are, are standing with them and that we are praying for them during this time. So we just encourage everyone to come out. We have local praise teams uh, that will be singing. We're going to have a DJ that's going to be playing music at one point. There's going to be food and just an opportunity for everyone to connect. And we're going to have local pastors from that neighborhood offering different prayers uh, on the behalf of, of that community. So once again, Chief, thank you for your leadership. And we look forward to seeing everyone there. Great. I'd like to thank the partners behind me. Without the community, we're not going to make this happen. Uh, Chief Adley put an amazing event together. We're looking forward to it because it's going to be with the community, showing how strong the community is. Nationwide, communities are having a lot of difficulty with crime. With these men back here, we're going to win. Thank you. I'd like to open it up if you guys have any questions for us. We'd like to be able to respond to it. Um, but again, this event is going to take place this Friday, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. We're opening our doors, inviting everyone that, to participate in this event. Um, we're going to feed the people there. We have uh, McCray's Barbecue uh, that's going to be uh, providing food for us. We're looking to feed the neighborhood and everyone that's participating in this event. And as what Kevin says, the churches are going to be taking the lead as far as the prayers and and the uh, songs and the uh, uh, Christian music that will be play, uh, playing at this event. So uh, all of those things are scheduled for this Friday, and uh, we're open here for any questions that you may have. And it's free and anyone can come? Free and anyone can come. Anyone can attend. It's all free. You said 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, I mean, if you look at these incidents that occur, I mean, Friday night is a night that you have a lot of activity in this neighborhood. Those hours, 8 p.m. to 2 p.m., is a very active time in this neighborhood. And uh, we feel if we're going to bring peace to a community, we need to go at a time when there is no peace. And uh, that's why we select that day, those hours. Does Operation Push go beyond Friday's event? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, uh, we're looking to make a positive impact in this neighborhood. We're looking for a positive change. Obviously, we have a number of shootings in this neighborhood. We got people dying in the streets. And anything that we could possibly do now to make a positive change, we want to be a part of it. And we want to support our partners and the residents and the business people in helping us accomplish that goal. Anything? All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time.